Welcome to today's edition of the show podcast. This game between Liverpool and Fulham only had one goal, but what a significant and history-making game it was all the same. You see Liverpool have never lost five games in a row at home before, but that's old news. The defeat to Fulham made it six games in a row, Liverpool in their 139-year history have, at least for this period, never looked so poor. This is all the while astonishing given that for the past 18 months the club has arguably been the best club side in the world. How funny and quite complex football can be and the implosion of this great club chortles along at rapid speed. So devastating has Liverpool's form been that one has to question if they will be playing in the Champions League next season? This comes after reaching the final in 2018 and winning the competition the year after. The defeat to Fulham has left Liverpool seven points adrift of a top-four place and for now they look out of contention. However surely one would assume with the players that the Reds boast they will find their swagger again before the end of the season to recharge their batteries. For now the game at Anfield swung on a different story and that was Fulham's possible survival. The Cottagers have looked destined for a speedy return to the championship for much of the season, but since December Scott Parker has got his troops pointing in the right direction. Their hunger and desire has been brilliant albeit the majority of their results in the past three months have ended in draws, but by and large they are picking up points here and there and avoiding defeats. That's how you survive in arguably the world's most competitive league. The only goal of the game in which Fulham would win 1-0 came just before halftime. Mario Lamina was today's hero for Parker's side he had a bit to do but the ball was nicely set up for him in the area and he was able to score with relative ease. Up until the goal it was Fulham who were on the front foot, this in itself seems bizarre that the Cottagers would have chances and time on the ball at Anfield and indeed Liverpool would finish the game with just three shots on target. Inevitably Liverpool had their best moments in possession in the second half, but made no real threat on goal in the final third and had just one real chance in this period. It was another limp display from the champions and for Fulham more glory on Merseyside given that they had beaten Everton here a few weeks ago by 2-0. Will Fulham stay up? The Omens are looking good for Parker's team because of the fight they have shown and they have reduced a seven-point gap to just goal difference over Brighton. Fulham could also have a challenge at Newcastle in 16th place given that the Magpies are only one point in front of Fulham. As for Lamina that was his first goal of the season and scoring the winning goal against the champions he would have taken that to be his debut of the campaign. If you beat the champions surely that will only reinforce the belief that you are going to stay up. Brighton, Newcastle and even perhaps Burnley in 15th place will be on high alert and the last few weeks of the Premier League season will be unmissable. This game.